Hey, it's Maximo and welcome to Maximo's Travels. Today, it's our last day in Osaka. We see the stupendous Osaka Aquarium. We see penguins. We see crabs. We see little fish, medium-sized fish, huge fish and killer whales. We see more jellyfish than you can poke a stick at. We go to a sushi train restaurant and eat even more sushi. And we explore one of Osaka's many claw machine arcade venues. Join me. It was our last full day in Osaka and we decided to jump on a train and go out to Osaka Aquarium. Osaka Aquarium is located right on the waterfront and it's a uh, half an hour or so journey away from the hotel that we were staying at in the Namba area. The aquarium is the grey and red building in the centre of your picture and it's located not only on the waterfront but right in the middle of the port of Osaka. It's also quite close to the quite big Osaka Ferris wheel. And between the two is quite a big shopping mall. So there's all sorts of attractions for all sorts of people here. So there's heaps to see and do in this vicinity. We got off the subway at Osaka Coast Station and walked to the aquarium. It was an 800 meter walk. We did go past the Ferris wheel and the shopping center. Incidentally, the shopping center contains Legoland. That may explain why there's huge Lego animal statues out the front of the shopping center mall. We need from actual Lego. It was quite an overcast day, still quite hot and humid, but overcast. We continued walking along quite a wide promenade, past the Osaka Ferris wheel, up some escalators, and then past the mall. If you've got young kids and want to take them to Legoland, the name of the mall is the Tempozan Marketplace. It's quite a large mall with quite a few dining options and cafes, as well as toy stores and general goods and clothing stores. Well worth a visit. We arrived at the ticket booth. It was a Sunday morning and thankfully there weren't many people queued up to buy tickets. The surprise, however, was that entry was timed and there was a 150 minute or two and a half hour wait to get inside. Hey, that's Maximo. I'm standing outside Osaka's famous aquarium, one of the largest aquariums in the world. We've been lucky enough to be able to walk up and buy tickets. Uh, there is a two and a half hour wait between our ticket uh, buying and our timed entry. So there's plenty of things to see and do around here. Um, for the younger ones, there's Lego World. There's a pretty big market, cafes and all sorts of things. So we're just chilling out, waiting for our time to entry to Osaka Aquarium. So the moral to that story is to pre-purchase your tickets before you attend. There's QR codes on the screen now and I'll put a link uh, in the description. So we had two and a half hours to kill. And what did we do? Well, we walked around the complex, had a look at the different aspects of the ports of Osaka, the ships, statues, and just had a uh, wander around, really.
We went to a local Starbucks in the complex, had a coffee and a bite to eat, and before we knew it, it was time to go into the aquarium. We started off in a reception area, and it soon led to a tunnel that was underneath one of the main aquarium tanks. There were so many people here, it was so crowded. The aquarium was really really impressive but there were so many people and it was just so loud. Have a listen.
we finished off with the cute penguins. It was a marvellous, marvellous experience going to the Osaka Aquarium. We decided to head back to the hotel for a well-earned rest. We navigated our way on the Osaka Metro successfully back to our hotel. After a well-earned rest, we went out for dinner. It was our last night in Osaka and what better way to finish it off with a trip to a, another revolving sushi train restaurant. It was busy, so we uh, took a ticket and waited our turn to get a table. Calling for customers with ticket number 483. So Joe, it's our last evening in Osaka. And where have you taken me to for our last dinner in Osaka? Well, I was trying to find Kura Sushi, but couldn't find it. All too hard. Yeah, so we're back at Sushi Row. Sushi Row. Mm. It was uh, nice last time. It's good. Yeah, so we've ordered a couple of things. Hopefully, it's coming. I think your gin and tonic might be here. It said this, they were trialing this and it just said gin something and the rest was in Japanese so I don't... Could be gin and tonic, gin and soda. Here's my beer coming. Here's my beer coming. Oh, that's... I think that's your sauce. That's my... Yeah, it's My beer. Alright, let's do a Kempai. 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 We're waiting for this all day. Like two first things again. Mm -hmm. They look good. They do. So, I've got some. Uh, you remind me to uh, get one of those. The tuna looks nice. It does. So it's uh, 540 and this place is packed. Packed. Yeah. What I like about Japan is that you can eat any time of the day. And the, and the restaurants are open from like 11 a.m. to yeah. like 11 well, it, a.m. or something. There is. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm having difficulty. Oh, um, I'm not proud of this, but I'm having chips. The um, salmon's really nice. Mm. I will have one of I'm those. having real. I think the tuna in the um, the rice is hot. It doesn't help. Mm. Mm. Really nice. My chocolate stick skills have uh, deserted me tonight. Yeah. They have, yeah. Here's mine. Mm. It's probably special. It probably is. Mm. It's a bad. Yeah. Uh, it's a place I'm ready to come, I think. Can you order me one of those? I can. Pumpkin tempura. Oh, that looks nice. Just one of those for you? Yeah, for now. Alright. Alright, it's ordered, madame. Thank you. What do you have on the list? I'm going to save my beer. You're going to take your time. I am. Hot. Nice. Really nicely cooked. Yep. 
scallops, from here, scallops, and tuna. I haven't seen that one before. And you? Now, uh, hopefully, there's a little more food which is coming. There it is. That's some other fish, which I forget what it is. White fish? Yeah, but it looks nice. You know, I'm going to get stuck in one. Good. So we've finished. There's a fair few uh, plates stacked up there, Joe. There is. And there's even more plates stacked up over there. Every plate has a small amount on it. Yeah, small amount, but they do add up. Another superb meal in Osaka. Yes, we were hungry. We were. We might so make our way back to our hotel now. On our way back to the hotel, we stopped at Round 1 Stadium. This is an arcade uh, mall with heaps of different games. We came to see the crawl machines. That looks easy. Very, very hard to actually win anything. So much fun on our last day in Osaka. Such a pity that we need to uh, leave for Tokyo the next day. I do hope you've liked this video. If so, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons. Hit that notify bell so you'll be notified of my next couple of videos in the final of the Japanese series. If you'd like to support my channels, please consider buying me a coffee. The QR code's on the screen or there's a link in the description. Until our next video, you take care and bye for now.